going on people this is big grime um you can check me out biggrime.com b-i-g-g-r-i-m-e.com and i'll have the links to your right um basically out here i got sonar 7 and i'm using battery 3 and i want to kind of show you how i sample or chop in battery 3 i haven't really seen anybody do a video like this so i figured i'd do it um and basically there's two different ways you can chop it up manually like i can go look for a, a loop or a sample off a record or whatever um i sample off of anything so i carry around my my digital recorder around with me sometimes and i just record stuff and come with all types of shit but let's say um let's see something like that let's say I wanted that um, I could chop it up manually I could just uh, manually drag it over and then I can use like the envelopes to chop it up to each uh, button that I want to put it on so I turn on my envelope as you can see here then I can just copy that that pad or copy cell and then paste it on to the next one and then I, where I start my sample on my next pad I can just move it over I click on each button it will show you where the sample is or if I want to I'm gonna start off with a whole new kit just no sounds which I do is um I load up an audio track and sonar import the sample into sonar And then I could just right click it and do groove clipping or control L. So I hit control L. When I double click on that, it'll show me it's sliced it up for me. Of course you can move it around where you want to slice. Or um, you can add slices, etc. So from here, I save it as a acid loop, which is like Rex loops, pretty similar. Once I've done that, then I can go to battery. Go to the browser. I might have to refresh it. browser refresh that way because when I save my new um, sound it's not going to show up on battery because it's on because when I searched it the first time it wasn't there so I had to refresh it all right now it should be there there it is drag it over So as you can see, it put each slice on each path for me already. So 
So that's, you know, basically two different ways you can slice it up. Um, do it in sonar, then put it in battery, and it'll automatically put it on pads for you. Or you can manually slice it in battery. Um, and those are pretty much your two main choices on how to do it. There's probably some other ways, but keep it simple. Those are two ways you can slice a battery.